Hello everyone, this is M. Allen West of FlashCadaver.com and today we're going to continue on with part two of uh, the video for the counter for the characters. Um, if you haven't seen the first video, go ahead and go back and watch it and I'll show you the basics of it. So, one of the things we were going to do is we were going to change this counter so that whenever the counter reaches zero, it restarts the scene. So select the text up here we're going to add a sensor we're going to change it to properties text and then we're going to change the value to one so if it equals one we're going to have it perform an action which will be game and the key to keep it from crashing is to set it both on the text so that's on text not cube so I'm going to change this to restart game then I'm going to connect the two together then if I click P on the keyboard it should restart the game after zero see alright well that was easy enough um, so this is looking sort of boring looking so one of the things I did was I was like, what could we do to make this look better? So what I'm thinking is that we download a grid texture and create something like this. In this example, if I click P on the P keyboard, and you get the score down to zero the character the enemy character disappears and the uh, door opens so you can go on to the next level and I don't know if I'm going to set a portal here or if I'm going to set something else so anyhow this is really easy to do going to go ahead and S to scale this to uh, a decent size, something smaller. And now I'm going to go ahead and move it. See how our characters only go left and right. They don't actually go any other direction. Okay, so once you have your plane selected, we will go over into Texture Paint. And over here where it says no texture, add a base color, click OK. This will change to black. Now we need to go find it over here. So we're going to select the, the black material. And then we're going to go into images and then click replace go into our downloads which I believe that's where our file is click it and there we have it now we have a uh, grid texture we'll go back to either our layout or our modeling area it doesn't matter whichever one you want to work in now we should be tabbed into edit mode on the plane next what we want to do is hold control and click E and then select subdivide then hold down shift R a few times slowly don't do it too quick because you could end up subdividing it too many times and crashing your computer or getting it to slow way way down now I'll go up here to select faces and then we're going to click Z to view it from the top angle holding down control we're going to go yep holding down shift we're going to select some of these squares let's go ahead and turn on the shader so we can see what we're doing so I know that the uh, grid doesn't match up on this graph paper but it's close enough so we're going to go through here, highlight some of these areas. Maybe we'll select some random areas like this. And this is just holding down shift and left clicking and dragging. 
Now if I hold down control and left click and drag, I can delete areas. This is a way you can make rooms really, really quickly. So let's see. That's good enough. So we'll go back to the front view by clicking Y and uh, rotate with our middle mouse button a little bit. E to extrude. And let's go ahead and turn on the magnet up here at the top. E to extrude. And boom. Instant walls. Now we need to click uh, tab out of edit mode. Click A, insert a sun, move the sun up, up a little bit, change the angle, a little bit, cast some shadow this direction, and that's pretty much it for the texture part. Now, let's go ahead and tab back into edit mode. Let's go ahead and extrude these up a little bit more, or drag them up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and just drag them. Okay, tab out of edit mode. Now we need to add a door. So we're going to go into, we're going to tab back into edit mode, I guess. Um, let me see see how big our character is. Our character is these three squares here. So holding down shift, we're going to go through here and delete all these. So now that we have all those selected by holding down shift and left clicking, we are going to either delete these or duplicate them. Maybe we'll duplicate it first so we can make something for our door. So we'll go ahead and do Shift D on the X, Z. Yeah, on the Z. So click Z on your keyboard after Shift D for duplicate. Now we'll go ahead and reselect these again. You know, I probably could have did this an easier way. I bet anything that if I click Control, Control L, nope. So if you click L, it'll select this island after you have one face selected. Now I gotta remember how to separate the island. I think Hmm. Well that is a good question. How do I separate the island? Oh yeah, it's just P. So if I click P and select selection, it will separate the island. So if I go back in here, I bet anything if I just selected this instead of going through all that process. Holding down shift and dragging is how I'm doing this. If you just click the middle mouse button and drag normally, it'll do this. But if you hold down shift, you can drag back and forth like that. Okay, so I bet anything, if I select these and just hit P on a keyboard and selection, 
and then tab out of edit mode, yep, it separated them. So I didn't have to go through all that process. Delete. So now I can select our new object. I'm going to scale it. Hmm. Well, that's odd. Oh, well. I want to go go ahead with that. And uh, we'll go ahead and drag this back. Tab in edit mode. Turn off our magnet. Now what we want to do is go up in here to edge. We're going to go underneath here and we're going to hold down shift, click F for face, click one of these edges, hold down shift, Click F for face. You don't have to do all this part, but I'm going to. Now you can also hold down Control. And I believe you can also hold down Alt. And Alt will do a whole entire face like this, but you have to have a complete face. F. Uh, let's see. Let's see if this will do this. Nope. Tab out of edit mode. Tab into edit mode for the wall. Yeah, see, that'll try to go all the way across. So this way you have to select it. Each individual edge. F for face. Do the same on this side. F for face. Alright, so now that we have all this set up, we're going to go ahead and select our door and we're going to animate it. So, let's see what a good place to go animate this would be. Go into the animation timeline, I guess. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click over in this corner over here where you see. Scroll, move your mouse over to this corner until you see an X and drag up. I'll change that to shaded mode. And we're going to click over here and change this to timeline. So, what we want to do is we want to select this, click record, and open up this menu over here turn on our magnet tool drag it down drag it back up that'll set a keyframe go out about 40 frames click drag down until it's all the way down then stop recording by clicking this icon Go back over to modeling. Oops. Well, I probably should make sure that that's back on the first frame. Okay. So click and drag this so that you're back on frame zero. Go over to layer. Now what you want to do is add a collision. So if this object hits this door, the door will open. So we are going to add a sensor and it's going to be a collision sensor which we already have a collision sensor but I guess we could go ahead and reuse that one so we'll go ahead uh, no we'll go ahead and use the new we'll go ahead and create a new collision sensor why not it doesn't matter 
add uh, the action for the door so action make it go to frame 40 on the end where it says end down here and then connect these two together after you change this over here to MP oh no we're not going to use collision no 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 we don't want to use that let's uh, let's change this over let's say that once the number equals zero we're not going to have it restart game instead we're going to select this door by holding down shift and we've got the number selected as well holding down shift we're going to go into this property of this door which is named plane 002 and we're going to add an action on it and it'll be uh, action frames 0 through 40 and where is our number so this 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 and then connect the uh, properties all the way over here to this and then click this drop down select your plane action and if we click play P on the keyboard now the door drops and we can pass through it and fall off the screen so that's pretty much it on that but we also want this character to be destroyed once this gets to zero so once this gets to zero we are going to add an action on cube zero zero one add an action edit object um, and then click on this drop down end object and it will be connected to all this other nonsense which was up here with the play action so we're going to connect these two together click P on the keyboard and it deletes that and then we can walk right through and that's pretty much it easy peasy all right thank you have a good day